Hello yogis and welcome to Zen with Jen. My name is Jennifer Coffey and today we're going to do an easy wake up yoga flow. First thing in the morning, if you can give me just a few minutes, I promise to give you an invigorating flow that's going to put you in a much better position to start your day. But the good news is you can do this any time of day. It's what's called a sun salutation or a vinyasa flow. Sun salutations, as the name implies, are all about welcoming the morning, welcoming the sun. And it's also a great way to put yourself in a better mindset and a physical one for whatever you have coming throughout the day. The most important thing I hope you carry with you throughout this though, is that this is for every level of yoga practice. Whether this is the first yoga flow you have ever done in your life, or you've been practicing for decades, hopefully you'll find something that you really love here. So to begin with our yoga flow, we're going to get into what's called child's pose. So we'll come about three quarters of the length back on our mat and come down to hands and knees. Separate our knees a little bit wider than hip width distance and then lean back toward our heels. Please note, I did not say on your heels because not everybody can get all the way back there. As you can see, I'm floating above. And if you need to, simply tilt back a little bit farther and not come all the way down, that's fine too. If you wanna bring your knees together and find a more comfortable position this way, guess what? That's all child's pose. So for me, I'll come knees hip width distance, toes touching in the back, hands and arms stretching towards the front of our mat, hips back, forehead towards the mat, and breathe. We're gonna spend a few seconds in this pose just to kind of tell our bodies that we're about to get some stretches, that we're gonna relax. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, set aside for just a moment whatever it is you have coming up that day. This time is all for you. Inhale. Exhale. You may also want to Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose, but with a little bit more of an audible breath as though it's coming out the back of your throat. That's called ujjayi breath or victory breath. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale. Good. Now on the next inhale, let's rise up to our hands and knees. Knees just underneath the hips, palms just underneath the shoulders. Looking down toward our mat, you can have the tops of your feet resting on the mat or you can tuck your toes. Either way, we're gonna do a little something called cat and cow. It's a great stretch for the back. So on the inhale, we're going to tilt our belly towards the mat, look up to the ceiling, and exhale, arch our back towards the ceiling in reverse. Kind of like a Halloween cat, right? Inhale, exhale, spine up. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Good. Now, if your toes aren't already tucked under, let's do that now. Lift our hips up and back, and we're in our first downward facing dog. Now, this is one of those positions that comes with a lot of stigma attached to it in yoga. A lot of people think if they can't get their heels all the way down to the mat, that they're not doing it right or they're not flexible enough. Here's the great news. I have been in yoga classes for over 10 years and seen people who have been doing yoga far longer than that who only get to hear, and they are amazing and advanced yogis. Your every single body is different. So if you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's great too. 
Give your knees just a little bit of a bend to give yourself some extra stretch back in the hamstrings. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now let's tiptoe forward to the front of the mat into a forward fold. We'll keep our feet about hip width distance apart and fold please at whatever level feels right for you. For some folks it's here. For some it's here. For some it's here. For some it's here. And some people can go deeper than that which is great for them. Do whatever feels right for you. Many beginners are right here. Just try to keep your hands away from your knees. We don't want to put any pressure there. And from here, let's just hang. Rock back and forth. I like to fold my arms, make a little pillow for my head. And breathe. Slight bend in the knees, don't lock them out. Good. Keeping that soft bend in the knees, Let's stand up tall, reach our hands up over our head for a good morning stretch. Bring those palms to prayer position in front of our heart or down by our sides. This is called mountain pose. I'll be doing a breakdown of this pose a little bit later. From here, close your eyes and let's set an intention for our practice. Now, what does that mean? Setting an intention is simply a focus for your practice and also throughout the entire day. So it could be a word like gratitude, grace, kindness, patience, whatever works for you. Because I'm so grateful to be here with you today, I'll choose gratitude. So let's close our eyes, two deep breaths, thinking of that intention. On the next inhale, bring your hands and arms up overhead. And on the exhale, let's dive down towards the mat. Again, to whatever distance works for you. Inhale, hands will come up to our shins. We're gonna straighten and lengthen out our spine. Exhale, hands back down to the mat. Bend your knees if that helps you get there. And then step back, all the way back, into either plank position, that top of our push-up, a challenge for many, right? So instead, knees to the mat, and we'll lower down. From here, we're gonna press our hands into the mat, lift up our chest, look up, and now tuck our toes under, lift up and back, and here we are again, downward facing dog. We can walk the dog, as they say a little bit, stretching our feet and heels out, Take one deep breath in, out, and back we go. Let's start to tiptoe up to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands to thighs or shins. Exhale, forward fold down to the mat. Inhale, sweep up, look up. If it feels right for you, you could do a little back bend. Exhale, down to the mat. Hands toward the mat, and from here, inhale again, exhale, hands to the mat, feet back, again, staying either in our plank position, I will this time, or knees to the mat, lower down, lift up, chest up. If you want something a little bit deeper, press the tops of your feet into the mat and lift the legs, this is called upward dog, and then exhale. Back again to down dog. I'll guide you through this one more time and then we'll do two more on our own. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Walk to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale. Hands to shin or thighs. Level back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, sweep up, look up, back bend if you like. Exhale, down to the mat. 
Inhale, hands to shins, straight back. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back. I'll do knees to the mat this time. Lower down, lift up. This is called cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes and back into downward dog. Now if you're ready, let's do two more on our own. Of course, you can always follow along with me. Let's begin. me in down dog when you're ready. Again, wherever those heels lie is just fine. Even pressure in our hands, spinning the inner arms towards our face, chest to thighs. Now from here, let's walk, but this time about halfway to the middle of our mat and come down to a kneeling position, hands on our knees. This is called hero's pose. Two breaths here. Good. Now from here, let's come down to everybody's favorite part, everyone's favorite pose. It's called Shavasana, or Quartz Pose, which is a rather dark name. But what it is, is a resting pose. Now, here's what's important for you to know. A lot of people find this to be the most challenging pose in yoga. Not the headstands, not the deep back bends. Instead, it's stillness. Ease into your mat, hands by your sides. If you want to receive good things throughout the day, leave your palms up. And if you want to be grounded, put your palms down. Our feet can just relax towards the corners of our mat. Melt those shoulders down and take the tension out of your jaw. Close your eyes. If it helps, think of that intention that you set earlier. Or if you prefer, just silence. We'll do it for about one minute, starting now. Right, yogis, let's start to bring ourselves back into awareness. 
wiggle your fingers, your toes, flutter your eyes open. And of course, if you like, you can stay here as long as you like. From here, let's turn to our side. But we're not going back to sleep, right? Good morning. We use our top arm to lift ourselves up, coming into a seated position, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Hands on our knees, give our shoulders a couple of rolls, get excited about what the day holds. Remember that intention that you set, carry it with you throughout the entire day. I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I'll see you soon. Namaste. You can check back every Monday for new Zen with Jen videos right here on QVC+. Plus.